All right, we're here. I'm here with my beautiful wife. She all knows cycling very well because we've been cycling together for the last... Uh, started together. Yeah, we started together. And I like to try to, to include her with everything I'm doing because she's busy with what she's doing. I'm busy with what I'm doing. So I think the more stuff we can do together, the better it is for our marriage. So there's that. And there's that she, I think she can bring some good insight into this video that we're doing. And obviously, if you saw the title, the video is about this group ride I did where Travis McCabe just showed up, which is like crazy. I'm in the middle of uh, Central Florida. You can see here, this is where I roll up on the group. And so you're meeting up with them right here, right here. Yeah. Okay. And then boom, I see him. This is him right here. And as soon as I saw the Israeli Startup Nation kit, I was like, dang, I can't even believe that this guy's here. So for those of you who don't know who Travis McCabe is, I just brought up this clip. You're going to see that he is sprinting Peter Sagan here and watch how close this sprint is. Speed has been so intense, the sprinters can't get on terms. But in fact, the white jersey there is Peter Sagan. He's hooked up with the Ineos riders. Sagan is trying to chase down uh, number four is Owen Duolo, who's leading out Peter Sagan. Does he realize it? And Sagan's got himself into the position. Walkev is on the wheel of Peter Sagan. And the big run to the Here line. Travis Sagan McCabe. Broken, but Travis McCabe is trying to go. The young USA rider as they hit the line. He a sprinter for De Kunik. They went so quickly that they blew their sprinter apart, Fabi Oxen. But look at red, white, and blue jersey on the left-hand side. Travis McCabe pushing Sagan to the absolute limit. Sagan just barely holding off McCabe. But what a great ride by the American on the USA. Oh, my God. So close, McCabe. Five more meters, and he gets the stage win. And the two riders from the USA, Bob, both come from Tucson, Arizona. We saw Tyler Stites all day in the lead. That was also his training partner who almost finished it off with a win. What a result it's been today for the youngsters from T. This is stage one of the Tour of California. And just the fact that Travis McCabe is sprinting alongside of Peter Sagan, it's absolutely unbelievable. And just to get to that point in the race, forget about having the power to stay beside Sagan. To get to the end of that race and even have the opportunity to be there is mm -hmm. incredibly difficult. Well, even to get to that point in your cycling career, right? Yeah, it, it's and so if we look at some of his wins, you know, he's won the tour, won a stage of the Tour de, Down Under. That's a World Tour stage. So I mean, impressive. This is one of the best guys in North America, and for him. So you can see the watch at the top here. The watch are pretty, pretty spot on. They're pretty close. I, I spent at least an hour trying to like sync it up to make sure that the, the, the watts are happening at the same time in the video. And so we're just cruising along here right now and it's not, this part's pretty easy. And what's happening is basically people are taking a couple minute turn on the front and the pace is pretty good. You'll see my watts here as we start uh, getting lined up. Vamping things up. Yeah, so right here, I'm doing about 250, 350 watts just to stay on the wheel. I'd say about under 300 watts to stay on the wheel. And this first little bit, we're just, everyone's taking a turn. And I mean, how many of us are here? Six or seven? And then we pick up two more guys. You're going to see that. This guy right here with the USA pants, he's really good. And what's funny, when you shoot a video like this of a ride that you do, it's easy to remember just the end. So at the end of the ride, this guy was really strong. So we're just start chatting and there's a good like five, 10 minutes where me and him are just talking and like shooting the shit, telling me about like, you know, what his life's like now, why he moved from Tucson, all that kind of stuff. Does he like it better here? Yeah, no, he, he, he said he really likes Tucson or he really likes Florida. And it's amazing. Like when you go east of or west of Orlando and a little bit north, it's absolutely amazing riding up here. You got I did it. I did a ride, a uh, three-hour ride, and I got a thousand meters of elevation, which is pretty good. But there's just endless roads. There's so many beautiful roads to pick from, uh, and lots of nice lakes to go around. Amazing scenery, and yeah, you can bike see bike paths. Yeah, no, it's a bike paths. It's it's really is that a bike path there running along the side? Pass another bike path. You can see here we get a little crazy as things get get. Uh, further in but so we're just cruising along me and him are talking here for a little bit yeah so right here i got super lucky because i had to pee really bad 
I was really thinking that I was going to have to pack the ride in because of how bad I had to pee. And I knew that they were going to hit it soon and that there was no chance of me catching up. And I think you can actually hear me say I got to pee. <laughs> and uh, luckily we don't have it on camera. But this is how long this light is that I had. A, I had a good 30 seconds to a minute to take a leak. And then boom, we start up again. And this is where things start to get uh, spicy. Yeah, we start to spice things up here a little bit. Yeah, so we're just cruising along here. And guess who do, you, who do you think sets off the match to get this thing going? Who do you think it was? Was it you? Yeah. <laughs> of course it I was. Know, I should, I should. I, I, the thing is, you were cruising so long so easy. The real problem is when you go and do a group ride and you don't know where the turns are, you don't yeah. know where they're going hard, where they're going easy, it makes it so much harder because... Like, we're cruising along easy here. Like, you see, he's taking a big turn on the front. Yeah. And I'm thinking, like, okay, we're just going to cruise easy. I'll give it a little dig. They'll chase me. Then we'll go back to easy. As soon as I attack, it was never easy again. And I paid I paid for that. The, like, because I put in a huge attack here. And you're going to see it see it in a second. And then it was just after this attack, you, you'll see what happens. I'll, I'll, I'll bring us up to it. It's happening right here. So what do you got? Travis on the front? Travis on the front. And these two guys, I don't know who they are. Okay. I never saw them again after this. So things are starting to ramp up here, and I see this guy going, moving to the front, and I'm like, here we go. See Travis look over, he's like, no, what are you, oh yeah, you can see him, there he goes. Now, I must say with Travis, he told me that he hadn't rode a, bu a bike in three months. Wow. Yeah, so now, if he was in shape, none of this would be happening. He would, I wouldn't have been able to put this gap in. And I paid for it later, like, I should have. I shouldn't have went this far, and I shouldn't have done this. Getting up into the six hundred watt zone, eh? Yeah, I definitely shouldn't have done this. I should have waited, and next week when he's there, I'm gonna hold things in a little bit, and then like save it for the end, because that's de climbing here. Yeah, we're going up a hill, yeah. and that because that's definitely what uh, the guy with the USA uh, pants. I think his name's uh, his last name's Ortiz. I can't. I can't remember his first name. But he he held it in because right here is where he starts to pick things up, and you can see them pass me. There he goes. See him? Mm-hmm. Anyways, yeah. So here they go by me. I catch on. You know, so we're all together here at this point. Yeah, so here we go. There's another dig. We hit another hill. Yeah. He just quit. That's cycling right there. You see that? He just, just quit. Mm -hmm. And I've done that. I mean, that's happened to Everybody's me. So, done oh. there. so there they are. See? And then he quit, and then they just regroup, and then this is where we separate. <laughs> and look, like, I... <laughs> let them go. I'm doing 650 watts, 700 watts here, right? Dang. Right, look at my heart rate. Mm -hmm. And the problem was, see, I put that big dig in at the beginning, and it was a waste. And I do stuff like that all the time. I make big mistakes. That's why I'm never good at racing. But, like, if I didn't do that big dig and I sat on here, like, see, this guy, he saved up the whole ride to do this. Mm -hmm. Right? Travis was on the front doing most of the pulls up into this point. Then I launched this big attack that didn't do anything for me but bust up my legs. And then, boom, this guy's... So where's Travis ahead Behind of me. Oh, he's on your wheel. Yeah. So basically, we just continue back and forth. We just, the three of us basically take pulls. No one really attacks each other for the rest of the ride. And we go another 10, 15 minutes like this, maybe 20 minutes. So if Travis hasn't rode much, then... You coming out on this ride and having his buddy there and lighting things up, it probably really kind of gave a little spark in him. And yeah, so here's another good shot. And what actually happened is I got a flat and Travis waited for me, which I thought was like super cool. And uh, then we just rode for a little bit. We chatted. So I think he's going to be there on Sunday. And, and uh, But you can see, I mean, we're cooking here. I'm doing 500 watts, right? Yeah. Hopefully there's some more guys out next time. I think there will be because it was absolutely freezing. That's right. It was abs like freezing because we it, went out the day before. I think that's when I had to turn around. Maybe. Yeah, I. I, I it was zero degrees Celsius on the way to the ride. So and then you have to think in Florida too. Like we're used to those kind of temperatures back home, but here they have beautiful riding outdoor all the time. So for them, that's just too cold to ride. Why would they go? No, exactly. It's like it's like a pissing rain back home for us mm -hmm. when it's that cold. Uh, it was awesome ride, and I was really happy to see him there, and it was. One well, of the best. It's like a treat. Oh, it was a treat. 100%. <laughs> it's like a big surprise. 100%. That's exactly what it was. And, and yeah. that's nice, especially you go there. You don't know what to expect. You don't know who's going to be there. Like, you literally don't know one person. You're just showing up. No. And then you get that kind of surprise. 
Yeah, it was definitely a treat showing up on the ride and having Travis there, especially, and Mr. Ortiz. This guy's incredible, too. Because like I was saying, it's it's much better for me, in my opinion, to show up and have guys that are better than you and you're holding on versus you're dropping people. For me, I think I get a better training. I think it's just easier because you don't want to be that guy that shows up and just crushes everyone. I've done it. I've done it on a bunch of group rides, and it's not. it actually isn't as fun as... You because think it's going to be. Like when you daydream about it when you're not as fit. Yeah. You think it's going to be so great. Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to drop them on every hill. And then you get there, and it's like, oh, where is everybody? <laughs> no, and then you feel bad. Like, I feel bad. Yeah. And then, you know, I don't want to hurt people. Because it's not only, like, the sections where everything blows up. It's the rest of the ride where you're on the front taking your turn, and you're, like, hurting someone. Mm -hmm. And the differences that I found is, like, because I remember what it was like when I wasn't as strong. And... When you're on the back of a group ride and you're the nail, you know, there's a hammer in the nail. I heard that a long time ago. I like it. Is when you're the nail, you're feeling every pedal stroke. Like I remember being on this ride and just getting punished on the back and looking at the guys at the front talking mm -hmm. and enjoying themselves going, hey, yeah, so what, when you after the ride, we're going to go for a barbecue. Oh, what? Yeah. How's, how's your daughter doing? Right. And you're on the back, like suffering, like just, oh, and I think you get demoralized. But I would rather that than be on and like be on the front and feel like I'm riding away from people. I don't know if I'm explaining it well. Yeah, I don't have the problem of being on the front, riding away from people. So I don't know what that feels like. But I know what being there <laughs> feels like, and it's really shitty. Yeah. Well, I think it's hard. <laughs> but it's good. Like that's the thing is, I ride with you. I'm always the nail, and sometimes I complain or I don't want to go with you. But you know, looking back, it obviously makes me stronger. No, realistically, you like if we rode together every day, you would bring my fitness down yeah. and I would bring your fitness mm -hmm. up. Right? Yeah. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing because there's some days where you need to get, I need to come down and you need to go up. Mm -hmm. But I think that's why we got to mix it up, right? And I mean, we don't ride together every day because... We can't. It's yeah. not possible. Yeah. It's not physically possible for this lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's. I'm it, considering getting an e bike though. Like seriously, no, we're gonna do it. just we're gonna for do when it. I train with you. Yeah, I think the pro I think the problem too is like say at the end of a ride where we're trying to get home. Like, cause what we'll do? No, that's the part that gets messed up. Yeah, is that it's that last hour. I can't. I just I'm done. Nope. I can't stay with but you. But part of it's me too because like say we ride an hour out to a place, right? Out to a hill or the rail trail or whatever. And then we do a bunch of intervals. And like we kind of pass each other while we're doing the intervals, but we're definitely doing our own thing. Then we meet up and we ride home. The problem there is I'm tired too. Yeah. And I want to do my pace because I want to get home. And you're cranky. And I'm like, it, well, I'm not. And the ride out didn't hurt you the way it hurt me. Because exactly. sometimes the ride out is almost more of a workout for me than my intervals are. Ex exactly. Because it's like this long tempo piece. There's not really a warm up or like, yeah. Well, and, and the fitness, how you build fitness is like, say you take a grand tour person like Chris Froome, they can go for hours. Like one of the, how you build fitness the fastest is be able to do like, say you have to do four times 10 minutes. When you first start, maybe you could do two and then you're gassed and the third one kills you. When the more fit you get, the more of those intervals you can do. Mm -hmm. So maybe the sixth one gasses you. And that's a big difference between us two, just because I've, put a yeah. lot more time into it than you have recently yeah um but i'm still tired because it still doesn't matter how strong you are mm -hmm. for every hour you're out there it takes something off you Chips right away at you. so i'm not feeling fresh you're you're slower mm -hmm. and i just want to get home i'm waiting i keep waiting for you and then the slowing down and speeding up is bought you know what i mean mm -hmm. so but we figure it out. We'll see. But it'll get easier as we do it more together. Well, as I get more fit, I just yeah. my fitness is going to, I think, boost up a bit more than yours in the short term. Exactly. Because I'm more unfit than you are yeah. right now. We'll figure it out. From the off season. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, I have a huge goal of getting to 10,000 subs by the end of 2021. I would really love to continue doing this cycling channel full time. It, uh, I absolutely love it. I mean... How much do I love it? Lights you up. It lights me up. I, I mean, I, I spend a lot of time working on it because I, I really enjoy it. And I would, like I said, love to continue to do it. So please subscribe. If you love cycling, I'm sure you're going to love this channel because we love cycling. And hit the notifications so oh, yeah, you know when that. the videos, I, the newest, latest edition is up. I think that's two in one now. 
what? I think they changed it back where you just hit sub. Oh, and they automatically send out I emails? Think, I think so. Oh, okay. But I could be wrong. You could be right. I could be wrong. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So that's it, guys. Please subscribe. Please like it if you liked it. And please comment. Tell us what you think. Do you like these kind of videos? Do you want us to do more commentary types of videos? Yeah. They're, they're, we enjoy doing them too. But basically, you know, this channel is about you, what you guys want to see, meeting with what we like doing. So anyways. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next video. We'll see you soon.